Hey, what's up, Nature Freaks? What's going on? Dave and Jeremy here. Today, we're going to be hiking with a special guest, Greg Schechter. Hey there. From Schechter's Natural History. So we've seen a lot of his YouTube videos. We're really, really honored to be here with him. He's already got it. He's already showed us some pretty cool spots, but uh, Jeremy has a pretty cool story on how we even hooked up with Greg. Yeah, so if you guys know, we do live uh, educational reptile shows. And I actually did a birthday party for his niece, and his mom would not stop bragging about her son <laughs> and this app that he created. He made a field uh, field guide app, which we can put a link to that in the description too. Um, so super cool. I had to look him up, then I reached out to him on YouTube, and here we are in California, and here's Greg, and now we're hitting the forest. This is how you do life, people connections and wildlife that's right so let's get on these trails because greg's got a lot to show us all right get it nature in your face all right guys we just encountered our first amphibian here in the uh, la area this is the california newt now what's really remarkable about this newt is the toxins that it produces enough to kill an adult human if you were to eat it yeah, which, you know, we don't recommend eating any of the animals or wildlife that we find out here. Uh, I think there was a guy that ate one of these one time on a bet and he ended up dying. So it's Six not like later. people are dropping dead from eating salamanders. But if you do stupid stuff, you know, <laughs> there, are, there are consequences. That's right. And it's funny because uh, Greg brought us down this area. He's like, it's a perfect area. It's beautiful. And as soon as we looked at it. It was down here, just like, what's up, everybody? Well, literally five minutes after. I think he was him. waiting on us to find it. And you could probably hear, Greg, if you want to pan, we caught him in this little stream here. Very cool, clean water, I mean, crystal clear. So it was super easy to see this salamander because you could see it all the way from the bottom. There's no sediment at all. Yeah, check out the belly, though. If you look down from the top, I mean, this thing easily blends in with the leaves yeah, and the this. debris on the bottom. But that belly is bright yellow yeah. right there. And I'm not sure if that would serve as a warning because they are toxic, um, but usually bright colors do serve as a warning uh, coloration. There. Put that on top there. of that. That's Here. the bottom. There we go. Look at that. That's you can't the even see it in Dave's hand anymore. <laughs> now you it's invisible. Now you don't see it. Now you do. Not All right. Really what a bad. super cool new. I'm sorry, yeah. salamander, and we're gonna put him away. And uh, oh wait, this is the California newt. Correct? This is the newt, which, which is, is a salamander, salamander but so I want to get that correct. This is a light for This is a nalamander. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue and try to find some other cool stuff. Two newts right in this little puddle here, and then a third little newt over there. And it looks like there are some eggs. We'll see if we can pull those out, maybe get a little closer look. Yeah, it almost looked as if the newts were eating the eggs. This Which is really like crazy. Dave was trying to get the egg mass. If that's what this is, and I believe We're that. trying to see what the newt was eating. Definitely an egg mass, but I could not tell you. I'm not familiar with anything in this area. Maybe Greg knows, I don't know, but I'm not gonna take it out of the water. Those, those should be newt, newt eggs. But what's weird oh, is, cannibal. You can even see that the newts were feeding on this gel. They didn't get any of the eggs, it doesn't look like, but you can see that it's been torn apart. And we witnessed the newt grab it and then shake his head. So do they actually, I mean, is that cannibalism in this species? I don't know. There were three in this area, so. Oh, well, there it goes. Floating I'm pretty sure those bottom. eggs are not gonna make it. They're gonna be in the belly of the newt. <laughs> All right, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was very cool. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks good. I drag with this macro. Looking at newt fetuses. Taking a picture of Greg doing work. Newt fetuses. <laughs> what do you think, Greg? This is so cool. It's been a long time since I found new eggs. Oh, I got another uh, another new here. Oh, uh, small one. Uh, see the big rock in the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
So, meet number five, I think. Meet five. Cinco Nido. All right, in certain areas, this newt is actually a species of special concern. Not in this area, True, we wouldn't be able to area. handle them if it was. But anyway, the reason is quite interesting. There's a introduced species of crayfish that actually will attack and kill. Invaders. These, and also eat the eggs. So that's one. Also habitat loss is a big problem for them. But they seem to be plentiful in here. This is the ninth one that we found in a half hour. Is that the ninth or is this the ninth? I don't know. Maybe, uh. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a species of garter snake that we're looking for, the two-striped garter snake and they eat and consume these guys despite the toxin, they have a resistant to it. And over the years, um, according to literature anyway, and science uh, research, these guys have built up uh, more toxin to counteract being consumed by the snakes. So that's why they are so toxic now. That, uh, that toxin is just like dangerous if you were to eat this to other animals especially. And the one that Jeremy's holding, you're, we weren't able to show you this with the other smaller uh, salamanders or newts, that is because this thing is so big you could actually see the laterally compressed tail. It's kind of a knife-like tail, which obviously is how they move around in the water, although they're pretty clumsy on land, it seems. They're not very fast, like some other salamanders that uh, are terrestrial. So That can be clumsy on land, too, sometimes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to put these down, and uh, yeah, let's, man, more let's just try awesome. to find some more. There's Keep another species it. of salamander we're looking for. Uh, Greg, what is it? The slender? The black-bellied slender salamander. Black-bellied so slender. We're going to get that I next. Like black -bellied slender. All right. Slender. All right, cool. All right, this one you can tell is definitely a male. You can see that large cloaca there. Uh, that is a very easy way to tell uh, the sex of this newt. Very cool. All right, Jeremy spotted this California tree frog. Um, their scientific name, I think the Latin root is something for a corpse. Uh, and they have this very sort of gray coloration to them. <laughs> Jeremy, wouldn't you say these things look very similar to gray tree frogs? Yeah, they definitely do. And then it had like some yellow in the thigh. Right. Like the gray tree frog, so. Okay, now more than 10 minutes after Jeremy found the California tree frog, I spotted a second one. This one, just a little more patterned. It looks really nice. You can see the contrasting gray and brown, or I don't know, different tones of gray, but. Just sitting there basking in the sun, right here, along this stream. Hey, look at me, Dave. And look yeah, at Jeremy getting his sun. photos, and there's Greg over there. Everybody trying to shove their camera on the frog's face. Howdy <laughs> face, howdy face. That's what I like. That's what I like to see right there. So, so far we have only amphibians on our Greg Schechter natural history. <laughs> you, you oh wait, I lizard. did see a fence lizard, you got me. So we got one small fence yeah, lizard. I think hey Dave, zoom it. here, zoom here. I got you. My, you see my finger? Uh, I'm looking, hold on, let me zoom out. I see your finger, now I'm zooming yeah, in. you know what this is? A booger? No, it's a frog turd. Uh oh. It's a frog poop right there. <laughs> now what's the fun fact about frog poop, I don't know if you guys know this, but they taste like sour cherries. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this out and see if that's true. Just kidding, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We have no idea what species this is, but it's some kind of water beetle with its eggs on its back. It's kind of creepy. Super bizarre, look at the eyes. I mean, it looks like something out of a horror movie. But it's still cool, it's nature, you know, we gotta love them all. Yep. <laughs> That just, is just bizarre. I've never seen anything like that. All right, guys, we found our third amphibian of the day. This is the black-bellied slender salamander. And as its name describes, the thing is really slender. In fact, it looks like a twig with legs. Another reason it gets that name, because it has that very dark belly. Does it have wanna, a black belly? Now I'm gonna flip over. There you go, a black belly. But uh, what's even stranger is where we found him. We found him in a garden. Now, obviously, we wouldn't have known this was here if it wasn't for Greg. He took us to a spot where he knew we could flip him. But um, he didn't think we'd find any today because it's been very dry, lack of rain. Uh, but the first log I flipped, I found this guy under there. Greg also found another one. So pretty cool. Third amphibian of the day. Yeah, it's been a uh, very productive day. I, lo <laughs> I love these <laughs> this type of salamander. Just how skinny they are and their little eyes sticking off the top there. Yep. Super cool. 
It's Can you imagine? Little. I was going to say, they imagine how tiny the food has to be for that thing to eat. Like just little minuscule invertebrates. Yep, and Greg, you were saying about the biomass. Yeah, so um, I'm told that in some areas, uh, these guys are so common that they make up the majority of the biomass in, in an area. Huh. Um, and I've definitely had days where I've flipped, uh, easily flipped like 20 or 30 of them in a small like um, 10 foot radius. Very cool. I mean, to have two right away is, you know, and we didn't think we would get any for sure, so. Yep. Yeah, I love sailing. Their populations are apparently doing well, so that's good. All right, so we got rid of the black-bellied slender salamander, and we upgraded, I guess you could say, <laughs> back to reptiles. We got two southern alligator lizards chopping it up. Now, look at this. These look uh, a little different from each other. We got the one with the beautiful orange on the back, and this one without the orange on the back. This one has its original beautiful long tail. Look at that little curly cue in there, that's cool. And this one actually has a regrown tail. You can tell that by the fact that this pattern goes all the way down and then it stops and then the regenerator tail does not have the pattern. But they are able to regrow their tails, so that's pretty cool. Yep. That's awesome that we uh, we got two more species for this day. Yeah. Turned out to be a pretty good day. Greg hooked us up. There you go. Look Reptiles have been Dream rare to find today. Da, 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 da. But... Oh look, let's make a little heart. Mm -hmm. I love reptiles. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Greg, thank you so much for hooking us up and uh, getting us some spots in Cali here. Yeah, for sure. We would never have been able to do this without Greg. He took us to the places where we found some lifers. What a great time. Again, Greg, thank you, man. Of course. Very nice meeting you. Very nice working with you. Yeah, make sure to check out his channel. Um, say it again because I forgot it. <laughs> Schechter's Natural History. History. Yep. I did not forget at all. So, yeah, what did we end up getting? Like 20 of the newts, right? Three California newts, five, five California tree frogs, yeah. about ten. Partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> yeah. Ten yeah, of yeah. the black belly slender salamanders. And the alligator lizards. Yeah. So yeah, very productive day. It was right. great. All right, so we gotta go to the airport. Bye bye California. Yep, see you guys. All right. <laughs>